guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can build your own home workout routine. Now, trust me, it's not going to be that easy. But then, by the time I'm done giving you these little tips, you find it much more easier to build your own workout routine. If this is the first time in this channel, please use the subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click that little bell button down there. Yeah, so that you get the notification when I upload every week. So let's get down to your workout routine. If you just started your home workout recently, do you have any routine you are using? Have you deliberately built a, a workout routine for yourself? If you have, please drop it on the comment section down below. I really want to have a look at it down. Uh, hopefully others watching this video will also learn something from your, your routine. Having a routine crafted for your home workout is very, very important for you to achieve your goal. If you really want to be serious with your working out, you have to draft a workout routine for you. Just waking up in the morning or in coming back from work in the evening and just doing an exercise that comes to your mind isn't what you need to build that particular muscle or to have that decent shape you really want to have. Especially when you are working at home or when you are using the gym. So you really need to plan everything down. Everything starting from your set rest scheme, when you work out, the sequence of your exercises, all those things are very, very important to making your fitness program a very, very successful one. So you really have to be deliberate with everything you are doing. And so in building your home workout routine, the first thing to have in mind while paring down those things is what part of the body do you intend to build? Or do you intend to develop? Yes, it's very important. You have to determine the part of the specific part of the body you want to build before starting your workout. Is it your chest, uh, your biceps and triceps, your core muscles that you want to develop? Is it your back? Having these things in mind will help you to craft the perfect exercise for you and this will also help you not to get overwhelmed. Number two, divide your workout days properly. As you are planning your workout routine, it's also very important that you include your resting days and space it very well. Personally, I would recommend two days workout, two days rest and two days workouts. It's very good that way so that it give your body time to relax and you really enjoy the muscles. Part of determining your workout days is also choosing the best time for you to work out. Now, there is no fit it all plan for everybody. You just have to choose the one that best suits you. Number three, Select exercises that you can readily perform or you have the equipment handy. Even when you are going to the gym, definitely you are not the only one using the gym. There are so many other people that are using the gym. You have to really observe and know the equipment that are many and enough for everybody that is there so that you won't have to be interrupted in between your sets waiting for someone else to finish using an equipment before you use it. Number four, decide on the set rep scheme you'll be using for your exercise. The sequence of your exercises are very, very important to achieving success. It depends on where you want to train. Someone that has trained for strength definitely needs the higher sets and lower reps exercise. Someone that wants to train core muscles needs the higher rep exercises with the lower sets. So it all depends on your fitness goal. It all depends on what you want to achieve with your fitness. That will influence your kind of set rep scheme that you'll be using. I want you to really understand that it's very, very important to be dynamic with your routine. You don't have to use one routine for the whole century or for one year or even two months. Using one particular routine for more than two months doesn't really fit well because platinum sets in after a couple of weeks. Once you subject your body to a particular form of exercise or stress, within seven to ten weeks, your body will adapt and you won't be observing what changes again while doing the same exercise. Also remember that consistency is the key to success in any of your fitness goals. I can't stress this enough. You really have to be consistent. Have it in mind that you won't start seeing results immediately if you start working out. It will take you a couple of weeks or even months for you to start seeing good results. So you have to be consistent and keep doing it. So these are the basic things you need to build your own workout. So get your shape right now and start doing it. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up if you find this thing. It's very very important to promote this video for others to watch and also in the channel. Please like this video and share with your friends too. I'm sure a lot of your friends find it difficult to do your own workout so you need this very helpful tips. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that small bell button it's very very important so that you get more videos whenever I upload a new video. Have you subscribed? Please subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.